Hey guys, Ty here, and this video is kind of like a redo of a video I did a few days ago uh, on the new Beat Saver mods or custom songs using Beat On, which is an app you sideload on your Oculus Quest right there. So um, a couple users had some problems and questions, and I think I missed a couple of things. So we're gonna redo this video, and this is what I'm talking about. So you can sideload or install songs one at a time right from within your quest using Beat On. You don't need to rebuild the app using side quests, taking a ton of time. If you don't like a song, you just click remove it. If you want to add a song, just download it uh, from a Beat Saver or Beat Saver right from within the headset. Or you can use the side quest app in conjunction with Beat On or you can use a browser, which is my favorite way to do it. So you can just hop on uh, your browser, download songs, drag them right over uh, to a separate window in your browser that's controlling Beat On on your headset and install songs like that. You can rearrange your playlist and rename stuff and organize everything from your PC on your Quest makes it super easy or you can do all of that from within the Quest itself. So we're gonna try to make this video short and to the point. I know a lot of you probably saw the last video, uh, but I do wanna make this complete for new users, somebody who hasn't seen the last video so they can go from A to Z, getting custom songs, custom savers, other mods on their Quest. So let's jump into it. Tyco Tech. Tech reviews and tutorials. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda try to rush through this here. So the first thing, if you've never modded Beat Saber, on your quest, you're good to go. If you've modded using side quest, you are going to need to uninstall Beat Saber on your headset. You can do that by clicking on, uh, I'll just show you a quick screenshot up here. So currently installed apps, you're gonna scroll down and you're going to find Beat Saber right there. You're gonna click on the cog wheel right there and you're gonna click uninstall app. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it. Uh, and then install a fresh copy of Beat Saber from the Oculus Store. You are gonna lose your high scores if you wanna save them. In the last video, I discussed how it worked, for me at least, a lot of people said it didn't work for them, so I'll put a link, and it's the very first part of the last video, so you can go check that out. But for now, I would say just don't worry about the high scores, you're gonna make new high scores, and this is so worth changing the way that we do this versus doing it in SideQuest. Okay, so you're going to need to download SideQuest. So for the new users, download SideQuest. I'll put a link down below. You're also gonna need to put your headset into developer mode. It takes two minutes, I did a video just on that. I'll put a link to that down below. Watch that, you're gonna need to put this into developer mode. When you first plug your Quest into your PC, you may get a notification inside to allow access. Click always allow and then click okay. So we're good there. Now, once you've got SideQuest installed, let's go to the home page here. So this is SideQuest right here. In the top left corner, you're gonna see this beat on mods and custom songs. So you're gonna go ahead and click that on. It's gonna download the app and it's going to install it on your Quest. One thing that's really important is the way that your computer and your Quest are communicating when you're doing this is not through the USB cable. You need to be on the same Wi-Fi network or it can cause some problems. I think that was a problem I was running into before. I was on two separate networks. I have a couple networks in my house and it wasn't working. So once it's downloaded, go ahead and click install and it will install it. It only takes a couple of minutes. Once it's done installing it, you're going to want to click open and we'll just kind of fast forward through this and let it install. If you're having any problems with it installing and you're not seeing anything on your Quest, uh, look inside the headset because you will see beat on, once it starts to install and it starts to go through the initialization process, you can actually guide it in the headset there. So if you see nothing's really happening on your PC after it started to install the app, Look at your quest, uh, and if you don't see anything there, go to unknown sources, look for beat on, and start it there, and then that will walk you through the setup process if for some reason you don't see it happening on your PC. That's happened to me uh, once or twice fiddling with this, uh, but again, I think that came down to not being on the same Wi-Fi network. Okay, so once it installs, the installation window will go away and you will now have a new little tab up top called beat on. So go ahead and click that and 
it's loading the configuration right here. Now what you will see at the top is you will see an address. That is how it's communicating. It's doing it via like a, a web protocol. Uh, you could actually copy this address and then go bookmark it in one of your web browsers. I would suggest, however, that you set your quest up on your router to have what's called a static IP address so it doesn't change your IP. It's not difficult to do, just look it up on YouTube. Set your IP for your quest to always be the same. Then you can just create a bookmark pop on the quest, start up beat on, set it down and then start installing songs and apps and working on your playlists and things like that. So this is what we're going to see right here. So we've got playlists, there's nothing here. We're gonna go ahead and add those. I don't like this little extras pack. It only has four songs. We can actually remove that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. A little more real estate available within uh, Beat Saber. Now, custom songs. You can do a couple of different things. If you've already downloaded songs using a side quest, uh, it's pretty simple. Just click on Beat Saber up here, open up songs folder, which I already have open down below, uh, and that will open this right here. Just control A, select all of them. I'll show you here, control A, control C, or right click to copy, and then you're going to use your uh, file explorer on your computer, maybe open up another window. And we're gonna go over here to Quest, Internal Storage, Beat On Data, and then Custom Songs. And then you're just gonna Control V or right click to paste. Now you've carried over all of your old songs, you're not gonna lose those. You can go within the Quest, uh, inside of Beat On, and here I'll show you. Uh, let's go ahead and open up this casting window. If you wanna use the internal uh, browser within Beat On, and I don't want to disconnect this cable. So yeah, confirm Guardian looks good to me. Okay, so within Unknown Sources, you're going to have Beat On right here. We're going to click that, and it's going to take you. I don't need these on. It's going to open up Beat On right here. So if you want to download within the headset using the Beat On app, here's the Beat On browser. We're just going to kind of scroll down here and uh, let's go ahead and install Blame. We're just going to click the download button. There it goes, it downloads, it's been synced and we click sync to Beat Saber and that's it, you're done. We've just installed that song to Beat Saber. We could go ahead and start Beat Saber and play it. Um, now, we're going to need to update our playlist because right now we've only got that one song if you've imported from SideQuest. So to do that, we're just gonna go to Tools and we're gonna go Reload Songs Folder. You can also do this on the PC itself. The only difference is within the app right here, we have a built-in browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off and then we'll go back over to Beat On uh, right here. Oops. And let's go back, uh, open beat on, and it's gonna resync. So now we can actually go over to tools and sync it. We'll see we've got this counter. That's what it's, sh it's showing exactly what we're seeing in the PC. So it's, it's syncing these songs, and I had like 140 songs total. So it is going to sync those over to our playlist. And as you see here, our playlist has gotten a lot longer. So bam, you've got all of your songs there. Once it's done processing this, uh, where it says processing here, same thing inside the quest, you're just gonna click sync to Beat Saber and it literally will sync them then within a matter of moments. And in fact, I think we've got enough time to do that. So go ahead and click sync to Beat Saber. Uh, and it's updating the config, uh, do not exit Beat On yet, done. Now all of these songs are playable within Beat Saber, it's that fast. Let's say I wanna get rid of uh, Blame, I don't like that song. I just exit, like click X on it, sync to Beat Saber, and you can do the same thing inside of your headset, saving config data, usually only takes, I don't know, 10 seconds, boom, done, that song is now gone, okay? Now let's look at some mods, and we'll do this really quickly. So I've already got a bunch of mods installed. So you can, at the top, you can change your saber color. You can do the same thing inside of the headset. Uh, and here are the different mods, different sabers, and I've got the hit score visualizer, which shows you uh, scores as you hit <coughs> each block and it, with color indicators, it does help you work on your swing. Uh, and then we've got, uh, I actually I uninstalled the clear walls one, so we can install it. So you can either go to beat on within side quest right here and you can drag and drop 
all of your mods. And I'll show you how to do it also within a browser. And this is really convenient for installing uh, songs. But I'm gonna go to Beat On Mods. So these are some, some that I have downloaded. And I know I'm going kind of fast, but I just wanna make this quick and easy. So Transparent Walls. I'm gonna move that over there. So you just download, you don't need to unzip anything. Download songs zipped, move them over like that. Uh, mods, move them over like that. And it was uh, done, okay? And then let's go ahead and Quest Sword is a different sword I've recently downloaded. Let's move that over here. And sometimes uh, with these mods, it will take a sec, but what you will see is that syncs, and then it says mod installed, and then we can click sync to Beat Saber. Now, when you drag over a new set of sabers, it will always turn those new sabers on. So the last saber to get installed is on. If you want to go back to mods and maybe change it. Uh, personally, I really like the Katana sabers, sabers, so we can select that to activate it. And then go ahead, wait until it's done thinking. It needs to unactivate the other sabers. Click Sync to Beat Saber, and we're done. Now, let me show you how this works on a browser. This is great. So here is the page. We'll load it up there. And look, it's just like having beat on in SideQuest, but now you've got it in a browser. The reason you want to have it in a browser is because you can't browse easily from SideQuest songs within the beat on uh, add-on within SideQuest. However, if you do it this way, we can go up to Beat Saber, the website here, and I'm going to get uh, Calvin Harris and uh, John Newman blame back. We're going to click download. You'll see on the bottom, I'm using uh, Chrome, but you have a pretty similar view of all of your downloads in any browser. I'm just gonna grab the download, drag it over here, song added, and I'm going to sync to Beat Saber. Done. Easy, so that's it. I mean, that's everything that you guys need to know. There's how to install mods, there's how to install uh, sabers. I will provide links to all of the locations I found that have these assets. Uh, and we wanna like maybe uh, customize stuff a little bit. So we can actually uh, edit the playlist and I'm gonna call this uh, My Jams, whoops. And we'll save that. You can change uh, the cover image right here. Uh, I don't have one readily available. I do have one. Uh, it's somewhere loaded in my downloads. It just needs to be 1024 by 1024. So you can make your own uh, cover art right there. We're going to click Save. I want to change the sort. Click Sort by Alphabetical. And then there we go. I like going through A to Z. Uh, you can also sort by author and you can sort by difficulty, but I just like all of them in one pack. Uh, if I get more, I might start making other packs. Uh, and Beat On will also make, uh, whoops, cancel here, uh, custom playlists. And maybe it doesn't do it in here inside. Uh, auto sort in the playlist. Yep, so you can auto sort in the playlist, 10 per playlist, numbers per playlist, uh, or sort in the playlist by difficulty. So if you want to make playlists like that. Um, so that is pretty much it. We're done. You've gone through everything that you need to know. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to ask in the comments below. Come join us on our Facebook Oculus Quest group. We're almost 6,000 members. It's a great place to ask questions as well and meet other Oculus Quest users, make some Oculus friends. Uh, so yeah, stop by there. I'll provide a link to that down below as well. I think that's it. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not, hit the bell button to get notified when I do these. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.